What's up, you guys? I'm B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And welcome to the Know For Sure podcast, where we talk about healing, growing, evolving, and having the tough conversations. Yes, and we also talk about relationships, not just romantic relationships, but platonic relationships. Like the relationship I have with my best friend, Megan Ashley, of 20 years. 20 years, baby. Yes, baby. Do you know for sure? I think I know for sure, but what I do know for sure is after this episode, you're going to know something for sure. Nah, I was just saying, like, it wasn't that I was telling you because the discount. <laughs> you said what I gave you was what the I discount. What I gave you was the affordable but rate. But no, but I wasn't, I wasn't saying like, no, I get it. I would have, like, I actually thought, 100%. I was like, nah, I, I said it's down the street. I should probably just go just to whatever. But when you had, when you told me, it was like, oh, nah, I wasn't even, I, I wouldn't have charged you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. But no, when no, you no, told me no. exactly what you was looking yeah. for. Yeah. You're like, oh, oh no, I ain't said, doing well, you all need that. You need to reach out to somebody? <laughs> yeah. For sure. All did right, you guys. Know, did you end up finding somebody? Be I God. did. Okay. It was so good. Nice. It was, it was good. good. It yeah. was really good. First time back on stage this, my first time on stage this year. At a college show? It was a college show. And that was the best way to come back because they don't require much. Yeah, they were easy busy. <laughs> they were they, just they excited just, to see just, you. Yeah, just walk ah! the whole show. I'm like, yes. Okay, I got <laughs> 10 more minutes. Keep screaming. Wait, I'll be a bitch. Knock, knock. <laughs> she was the best. Oh, my God. Watch it, No, seriously. Seriously. <laughs> y'all, as y'all can see. That's funny. We got a guess. I'm B. Simone. I'm Megan Ashley. And welcome back to the Know For Sure podcast, where we talk about all things relationships, healing, growing, and evolving. Mm. We mm. got my brother from another mother. Facts. Mr. Emmanuel Hudson himself. Where is the camera? Which one I'm looking at? <laughs> Jesus. Right here. I, I didn't know you didn't. I was about to say it. Wait, no, go ahead. Long. Take No. Who, who, who you want, how you want us to say it? I already announced. Okay. Well, who is you? I'm Emmanuel Hudson. I am the uh, seventh son of out of eight boys uh shout out to my mom and dad jesus uh sagittarius the best sign there is uh long walks on the beach not really that's typical uh long walks anywhere for me um <laughs> i am a single i'm god-fearing man i am so 30. are you god-fearing or are you sagittarius because we well, just God, got tore well, up technically in the well, te- technically if you read your bop now don't i ain't gonna no, read, we did ain't gonna miss quotes but they say every comment under there is like this is demonic. Oh my God. Well, uh, well, hey, they say so- Christ is born on the 25th. They say you're Capricorn. No, he a Sagittarius. What? Yeah, Christ is because he ain't had the patience for is nothing. Is that in the Bible? <laughs> it, it ain't in the Bible, but I just, if you God give you common sense, no, I'm joking. I'm not going to. Not even God give you okay, common sense. Okay, please don't. Cause they gonna tear us up. We are playing he he ha ha. He is a comedian, you guys. Okay. Y'all still in the business of convincing? No. Okay, I was gonna say. I ain't who you want. No. Hey, yeah, yeah. No, we can go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> this, this is gonna be the first in the history fifteen second <laughs> podcast. Y'all brought the wrong one on here. If you think I'm into convincing. No, nah, I got out that business a long time. I know ago. that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know that's right. Talk to the man upstairs. Headquarters. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go to headquarters. <laughs> headquarters. That's go ahead and call uh, corporate. Yeah, he on the main line. <laughs> <laughs> he all he gonna pick he up. He gonna pick 24 up. Se- Twenty four seven customer him. service. I'm telling you. Talk. You so him. mad at me? Talk to yeah, him. Yeah, him. Him. <laughs> him. <laughs> Email, but him. One eight hundred him. That's the main line. I don't convince no more. One eight hundred. Email him. I don't him. No more. him. Mm. But him. Yep. <laughs> you just him. <laughs> the answers are in him. Him. Ooh, the mm-hmm. answers are there. He is him. The original him. The OG. The OG, the OG him. him. The OG Ooh, him. Ooh, y'all, y'all dudes be like, I'm him? No, no, no you're not. You're not. <laughs> you ju- you're a junior. <laughs> no, you're not. He him. you junior him. <laughs> yeah. Big him. <laughs> Big him. Senior. Mm-hmm. Senior him. Senior, se- Ooh, senior him. Wee. Mm-hmm. Ooh, That's wee. good. Yeah. I love that. That's what I said. That's what I'm here. What's up? What you doing? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? He's like, y'all talking. You just yeah. keep talking. Not in the business of convincing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Evan. What I say to you when you walked in? I said, You are so cute. This is the first time I've ever felt that. That's cow. See, you can't be. <laughs> see, here's the thing, bro. Like, you can't be. You look be, so nice today. You can't be. That's is crazy. Is that a rolly on your wrist? Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's he's crazy. like, roll it on that wrist, like, <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it with a devil ranch, yo. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little something, but you know, they don't matter. I mean, somebody that's material, <laughs> material. You know what I'm saying? What good is the watch on your wrist if the time on it is borrowed? You feel? Ooh, you see what I'm saying? Wee. Yo, I just do this to let you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he does bless. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Him does bless. Him does you, bless. You, you can live for God and Christ and uh, <laughs> no, for sure. The minor things. <laughs> <laughs> now let me stop though, bro. I, I, let me stop. Like I'm not trying to, in no shape, form, or fashion, I'm not trying to brag about any of this stuff. I don't even know why I wore this. <laughs> okay. with, with, with a platform this huge, this is like an invitation. Hey, come rock me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here on this way. Come rock me. <laughs> Yo. No, Amen. I am glad to be here, man. I've been asking, not really asking, but I have hinted at you. I'm like, hey, what's up, no, man? Yeah, I'm yeah. We have so many people we want to get on here, but it's all timing. Yeah, We're not in a sure. rush. We, sure. And we like to do a lot of solo episodes, so our platform and our audience don't depend on guests. Mm, don't vent to me. No, I know. <laughs> I get don't, it. I'm not in the mood <laughs> of convincing. Me. You ain't got to convince me. I know. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I knew we were going to have you on at the right time. Right, right, and it was right, perfect because right. you got to be around Megan in LA mm -hmm. and she got to vibe out with you and get to know you on a different level. Facts. That's actually, um, I always uh, I always say things like this when I uh, when they ask me well, what's coming out. I seen something with B. Simone coming out. Yeah. And I was like, man, I, I kind of get into the backstory of that. And it's like, Honestly, because I started focusing on my own purpose, really figuring out what I want to do, taking things to the next level, I told myself and I talked to God about it. I was like, man, friends just going to have to understand. Like, it's this year's personal. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little yep. late already. Yep, yep, yep. And, Ooh, yeah. um, and it was more so like I'm not doing any – they just going to have to understand. I'm not in. The, I'm not in the business of doing favors like right now. Because when I, you say working on your own purpose, what were you doing prior to this new shift? You feel um, like investing in other people, investing in other nah, just not platforms in, or just not investing enough time into myself. Okay, you know what I'm okay. saying making excuses as far as like I am blessed enough to be on the road a lot. You know, doing wilding out, doing shows here and there, stand up, hosting here, like a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And but I was, I noticed I wasn't like. Whenever I got home, it did feel good to just lay down. It's like, mm. okay, just got off road. But now it's like I'm looking at my team. Mm. I'm God is putting people in my who's always been in my life. And I'm seeing things that's like, like, hold on. Like my best friend, like he Who you brought with you? Yeah, who okay. I brought, uh, Mike Wells. Like, it's little things like that I saw years ago that he did. Like he, um, like film the way he shoots things, the mm -hmm. way he edits and sees things. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this sit a long time, mm -hmm. and he puts out maybe like two sketches a year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. he lazy in that area, or whatever. But for the, <laughs> for the, but there's a He's reason like why. Lord. There's a reason why though. And when he did put out something, <clears throat> being his best friend for since I don't know since we known each other, elementary school, mm -hmm. I never noticed how good he was with the editing and directing. Mm -hmm. and, and and I know that God has given me the gift of vision and direction and things like that. When I seen this video mm -hmm. from him. Mm -hmm. A recent one. It was, no, it, this was years ago. Okay, okay, okay This was okay. years ago. But when I saw it, I was like, dang, like, his videos must take 13 days to create because this editing is, is like, Top tier. Top tier. And I've been doing this for a long time, but it, it didn't, it didn't sit, it didn't like, it didn't hit me yet to be like, there's your camera, man. Mm. There's your video. There's who's going to be directing your, your mm. videos. It didn't hit me. So throughout Wild and Out and all my journey, I'm noticing my friends do a lot of important stuff. Like they rap airplanes. My my day ones, like I grew up with these people. They rap cars. They rap mm -hmm. billboards mm -hmm. for billionaires. You have the people. Mm -hmm. I have the yeah. people already yep. right there. Yep. And because I've been doing every, like working for everybody else, <laughs> I wasn't like realizing this is where your money is in the long run. You got the people you can trust. You see what they doing. Build your own table here. Build your own table. Yeah. And it wasn't until I started realizing that. That's when I, the second I realized that, I was like, okay, I do a lot of favors for friends. I do a lot of, they call me out, I mm -hmm. go out, show love, and then mm -hmm. I'm wasting time, part <clears throat> like going to parties. And kicking it. Kicking, and being just being lazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it wasn't anything that I was doing necessarily wrong. Yeah. It was, what are you doing with your time? And you you got friends that that's trying to, you know what I'm saying, 
make the, it or make bring it. bring value. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I found yeah. that purpose, and at that moment, it was crazy that you called, and it was like literally maybe like two weeks after I told myself no more favors. When did I call? You the when you called me about when you texted me about the movie to come be in a movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that was yeah, literally yeah. in the middle of me yeah. scheduling out my own week yeah. and stuff that had to be done. Yeah. And I the reason why I'm gonna be honest with you, it took me a while to respond. I think because I was like, man, but it's B though. I was like, it is B. And I started thinking about all the things that you've done for me. Mm, like even when you mm. even when you like you was taken off. Mm. You pulled up in the middle of the night, maybe around 10 something, free of charge. You did, you stayed there as long. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't even remember that. Like, I ain't even got to, yeah. I ain't even got to go to God to find out what I'm supposed to be doing, what I'm mm. supposed to be doing here. Wow. Mm. wow so wow. when it wasn't about the money, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything was fair. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah. And to be still, Thank to be, to that. be honest, yeah. still, to be honest, even though I understood this, the time it got closer to go, I was coming off the road off of shows and things, and I was tired. I'm like, man, I got to go to this. I said, but I, I just promised B, but I, I'm going to have to tell her, like, I can't do it. I'm tired. And then when I get there and see what is going on, it wasn't about the production. Mm. Every, we did what we did on yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're talking about that. The, the aftermath. The experience we had after. When we yeah. went to dinner and everybody yeah. at the table, like, yeah. kind of, like, yeah. got closer to God, and yeah. then he sends one of his 144th. <laughs> The, the dude we met, listen, the Bible, the Bible talks about only a hundred, <laughs> only a hundred and forty. He said, let me thousand. touch you because you, <laughs> this, whoever she knows, <laughs> this man walked in here. First of all, he, he's resurrected. <laughs> let me just start the story there. Yeah. The story that me he was saying. First of all, it's me and Megan's homeboy. Let me go back a little okay. bit. I okay. Because the story is crazy. I was, I was shooting a short film in uh, LA and I invited E-Man to be a character I thought was perfect for him. He ended up coming and we ended up going to dinner with one of our friends. We invited E-Man um, and we invited one of our homeboys that we know in LA and this was E-Man's first time meeting him. And he was like, this is, I didn't come to shoot your film. That's exactly <laughs> what it was. He's like, I wasn't here to be in your shit. I was here to meet him. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or not even him, but have that I think round it was the table, whole, thing. Yeah. whole conversation, the yeah. whole moment. Yeah, so it yeah. was in, in, in lamest terms, you, you, I mean, uh, you, you asked me, what was I doing? Like, what was, what was I doing before that? Finding out my purpose. Like she said, I'm thinking I'm going out there to do something for B. And it's like, are right, we going to shoot this, that, and the third? But what, what the real reason why God mm -hmm. allowed me to like, or all of us to fellowship? Yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to be here to hit us, e man. You need to be here to hit us. And when I got there and I heard it, I told B straight up. I said, "Hey, bro, I didn't come. God didn't bring me here to do your set. Like, He brought me here for this moment right here. Yeah, to put me back on purpose." You got the team, e man. Yeah. Go back yeah. home now. You got the clothing yeah. line. You you, you got you all have this the stuff. The vision. Put you everybody have the together. Vision, yeah. And I'm not gonna make you do anything. Ooh. I ain't gonna make you do nothing. But mm -hmm. now that you know, it's time. Mm -hmm. So from that moment on, I've been sitting here, and it's like I've been going to get the money to make things work. Obviously, because the way the way the way God works, um, this April have been. I'm not gonna lie to you, and in my how many years of career of doing this? This year is like April. It was so many shows coming in. I mm. like I couldn't even believe it. Yeah. And stand I was up? like stand up shows, hosting gotcha, gotcha. everything. Okay, People okay. were just calling for me. Okay. And I'm obviously I'm thanking God because I'm like this is right before I'm finna go back and shoot. You know, while and out. Okay. And I'm like, nah, ain't no way. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going like I'm, I'm no for real. I'm getting the money. I'm I'm bringing stuff in, but. Probably like eight of those shows canceled, mm. and they were all back to back. My mm. my uh, my manager's sister was calling me like mm. one day, and she was like, "Hey, you know this show? This one, um, they're not gonna go for it. Something happened with this." I'm like, "I'm like, all right, okay, cool." Mm. She would literally call me the next day mm. and go, "You know this show? It pulled out." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "All right." Mm -hmm. And then shows I had booked for somewhere else, somebody else that booked me, they was like, "Hey, yo, this show." The, the camp is flooded. They're going to mm -hmm, cancel this mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hold on. That's like four shows in a matter of three days. It's canceling. Yeah. So I'm like, it's cool. I got like, you know, six, you know, six more. A couple of days later, this show, this show, this show pulled out. Mm -mm -mm. And then I'm just sitting here like, wow, that's what you get for accounting tomorrow's paper. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. 
That's what right. you get. You sat there and planned to do all this. And da-da-da. Not that you did anything wrong. Right, right. But you were so anxious and you thinking like you depending on all this that when you go when you go home and have time for me, Ooh-wee. you want to make excuse about how you tired. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying he did that. Right. He allowed, because he allowed God it. allows yeah. things he to happen. It. Yeah. And it's up to you to figure out like. What's the lesson in this? Hey, man. Yeah, remember what am I him learning? Through, through, remember him. Yeah. And I kid you not. I kid you not. Something that I've been praying for or just like. Not even praying for it, just been asking for years about an advertisement. I want to shoot commercials for companies. And over the years, I've been like, hey, I'm seeing people that's doing stuff for this company. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, did you, I reach out to them. Did they send this to you? Did you got an agent? They're talking about it's an agent. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, all right, well, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. Just four days ago, my manager hit me up about that company and said, hey, they're trying something new. They want this. Wow. And I was, and I'm sitting here like, nah, ain't no way. And this, it was something that I was already planning on doing for Minds of EP, my own show yeah. anyway. Yeah. They just gave me the, yeah, the, the ads. He was like, do what you do. Yeah. We just want to. Yeah. And I was like, you said you was going at, I, I had already been getting ads all week. Mm-hmm. Me and my manager are closing deals mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. these ads. The, mm-hmm. I'm like, all these shows canceling mm-hmm. and this happening. You you giving me mm-hmm. oh I mm-hmm. see you Lord. <laughs> First thing I do, I call my him. best friend. I call my best friend. I kid you not. When I when I when I start getting all these signs, I'm like, yo, it's time. It's time. Luckily for him, <laughs> luckily no, I'm luckily for me, he was always wondering what his purpose was. Oh mm. wow! And this is something that he gave up on. He went to school wow. for this film stuff, but he mm. kind of gave up on it. Mm-hmm. And he's blessed enough to be able to do that, but he was like, "Man, bro, I've been thinking like, like I'm perfect. It's timing." I, I said, "I got you." Yeah, I said, boom, 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 boom. So now, when you 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 guys are looking at the future director for all my music videos, mm-hmm. all my sketches, <clears throat> he has an eye for it, and it, and, and 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 God like kept him in my life simply because, e man, you you can do it all, but you ain't supposed to do it all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ain't mm-hmm. you do your part and." You, know what you I'm need saying? that village and that team. You though. need it. Everybody has a separate gift you to bring it. to the table. If you're the visionary and he could capture it, you work together. Mm-hmm. I love that. A lot, a lot of a lot of my friends that I got now in my team, we tried, we tried coming up with our own clothing line and working together, but it, the timing wasn't right. Yeah. The message was the message was perfect. The 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 honesty and the loyalty was there. Yeah. But it was just like. They needed to go through the struggles in the area that they went through to become the boss that were they And perfect their gifts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, their and we would call each other, bro, we ain't on it enough. We ain't doing this. We on the game, but we ain't on it. Yeah, that sound good. But God is like, hey, man, shut up. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> running nothing timing. Be no, patient. seriously. Like, I, got, I got C. Neil over here. I'm going to let him work on that. And then when you ready to get serious and you pay attention. It'll be waiting right It's going to be waiting right there. Yeah. And that's exactly how it happens. Yeah. That's kind of like the stuff we were talking about. Well, you you called Megan uh, uh, when we were in Miami. When you called me, you called her? Don't know. It was. I think it was yeah. around that. Because I didn't know you were talking to him. And then I had a missed call from you. Yeah. Because I was just telling her I was on the phone with you. for. I was like, I was on the phone with him for two hours hours in Miami. She's like, dang, he called me. She's like, I should have picked up. Yeah, missed your blessing. I ain't no, gonna tell you it again. Was- <laughs> you missed that. You missed that train. You gonna find out when no. you get to him. What? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna find out where that phone goes. It's bro. like all the phone calls that I answer, I miss one, <laughs> one phone call. So that ain't that what ain't that what Christ about? <laughs> Ooh, you done answered man. all these phone calls, but you ain't hit. Okay, <laughs> all right. Don't try to take it back to him. It's always, it always about him. Back to him. <laughs> what are you talking about? But that conversation was so good because what we was. Well, I didn't let her go into depth about it, but I want you to talk more or bring that back up. I guess what you and Shekinah were talking about. We was talking about revelations. But well, mm-hmm. she was going to start talking about it. I don't know what you were about to say about revelations, but it tied into the conversation. Oh, uh, we, we were had talking for two about hours. the rapture. But me and you kind of talked about that on the flight a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love when Eman talks about the rapture. <laughs> no, now. you do not. It's so <laughs> funny. He'd be like, yeah, I'm good. I know I'm good. Like, yeah, I am. But, um,. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, it's, nah, you gotta I'm, convince you. Nah, I'm, I'm not into convincing. You sure? <laughs> All right. It's okay. I got your, I got your indecisiveness. You said I got how you. many people get into heaven? Uh, I don't know. No, what was the not into heaven or what was the number one? Well, it's a, so that's why I'm not <laughs> Z, going look Z, now. Z, look Z, now. Z. Look, because that's what we were talking about Ooh, at dinner. When you when you read like me personally, I feel like I understand the Bible for what it is, black and white. I, I, I feel like that. And if I don't, I, I'm going to believe what I believe off strength. Mm -hmm. Anything else that I read, I understand that it is advice and it's stories of things that already happened. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you really can't, it's hard to really talk about that stuff, for one, if you're not reading for yourself. Right, right, and right. And two, if you're not really like applying it mm -hmm. to your life to talk about it, mm -hmm. then you shouldn't be saying stuff just because mm -hmm. you read it you read something here, even if you do understand it, mm -hmm. you got to make sure you get You're, everything. Yeah. How mm -hmm. have you lived that verse? Yeah, because I just, I just started reading. Uh, I just started over. I've already read it before, but I'm really reading it now. Mm -hmm. Now that I, my mind is more developed. Uh, the book of Proverbs. And it's, uh, it's literally, it's, it's little things that like being in Christ that, you know, and you just trust in him. But when you really read mm. it's details that mm -hmm. make sense. And it's like, I get why certain meanings are this now. Mm. Like a friend of mine, I keep my 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 uh, my, my uh, circle is full of friends that like we we might not disagree on everything, but one thing we gonna have in common is the man upstairs. Mm -hmm. Um, a friend of mine named Nico Goodrum, mm -hmm. maybe like six some years ago, or hey, whenever he got that tattoo, he got a mm -hmm. uh, um I think something about Solomon. Um, w N U or something. He got something tattered on him, and he broke it down to me. He was like, uh, "Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding." Mm -hmm. He said, um, "God gave uh, Solomon everything. He was the wealthiest. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the wealthiest. He was the wisest man on earth. Mm -hmm. Not there. There's no one breathing to this day more wiser uh, than Solomon. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this until two days ago. That's the guy whose hair was his strength. No, that's no. oh wow, yeah." Um, that's Samson. That's Samson. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? I fixed myself. Oh, no. Nah, you going to know for sure <laughs> when you go. You going to know which one it was. That I sure said, am. You know why? Because I'm going to be up there. No. Not, not mixed up Samson Rebuke. and Solomon. Stop okay, I'm just stop. not. I'm joking. Don't I'm not joke judging yet. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you like. I'm like. We going to talk after said. the show. <laughs> You got some uh, explaining to do. Nah, but I don't know um, my Bible stories yet. I'm still Solomon, Cain and Abel. Okay, good. Good. Start from scratch. It's, uh, that's am. the best no, way. No, you're on David. I'm on David. And Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was wild. But Solomon, yes. Stuck on that. <laughs> it's like, get, keep reading the baby. You gotta it, get nah, the baby it's, they It had. gets good, though. It I gets know, good. It's so so good. basically, Solomon was the wisest person to ever live by choice, in the sense of, when I say by choice, um, David, his father. Um, he was he he told Solomon he was like, listen, wisdom is the is the the gift from God. Mm -hmm. It is the only thing that is going to like like handle everything from the moment you start breathing until I come home. Ooh wisdom is my gift to you. And David was teaching Solomon his his son this. So when Solomon obviously when he got older and things like this. God said, hey, you can have, like, just ask me for whatever you want, and I will give it to you. And he said, I want wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yep. I don't want nothing else. Yep. I don't want no material. I, right. I don't want nothing. I don't, I don't want to know that. where it is. Yep, I don't yep, want nothing. Don't... Lord, if if what my, my father what? is saying is true, I want wisdom, knowledge, and that's the only thing I ask for. That's God it. said, because you asked for that, mm. not only will you be the wisest man on earth, you will be one of the wealthiest mm. men on wow. earth. You will, be, you will have, wow. you will have all this knowledge wow. and wisdom. And I will give you everything a hundredfold, yeah. a hundredfold, because you only ask for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Yep. And the more that I'm I'm reading it and I'm breaking it down, it's super simple. It's super simple. Me, like I said, I've always been into Christ and he, my mom raised me this and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you read it for yourself, it's details it's that, that adds things. Like I didn't know that there was a difference between knowledge and wisdom. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. People mm. think wisdom, oh, he got a lot of, no. Knowledge, knowledge is knowing is, the facts. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom is applying the facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can only gain wisdom from experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why there's a difference between knowing and applying. Yeah. Because you meet a lot of people that say they know, I studied the Bible, I read it, you know, I went mm -hmm. to school and did it. I did, did, did. 
You're not living it. You it's know a, it. Yeah. You know it. You have yeah. all the facts, but what is the point of you knowing it? If you're not applying if it. If you're not applying it. Jesus. If you know how to get a million dollars and still broke, you ain't wise. You ain't no. wise. Mm -hmm. You just a know-it-all. Ooh, we. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And to, I didn't know this. It's that detailed. He taught, he, when people have certain questions, the people that say, hey, I know this, I read this and this and that, you can ask them a simple question and, he, and, and, and the Bible, God will reveal to you why they don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. and they sound, and, but don't get me wrong. They sound smart enough to even convince true believers what they're saying is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes God takes the simplest Jesus. things mm -hmm. to expose the most smartest, smartest people. people. Yep. And all, if you read for yourself, you're going to call them out every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to call them out every and single time. And because it's all connected. Like you, you can know a scripture and you can say that scripture, mm -hmm. but if you don't know the context of where that comes from and where that's connected to, and why and it was how said. in Isaiah it predicts the coming of Christ in the in Isaiah in the Old Testament and predict like if you don't know it all, I can quote a scripture to you. I can say, yeah, God's gonna work it all out for your good, but it's like there's more to that. Right. You know what I mean? And there there's has lies. to be, you know, that's di so knowing and applying is a different is totally different and it's like one of the stories well in the, in, the, in the same story solomon like he was really wise to make a decision like and my i talked to my brother about it and he was like he was like yeah but he said like, sometimes god gives you the wisdom even though you don't know all the facts that's how that's how wisdom mm, works from lord god. have mercy like that's, that's why that's Ooh, why that's Jesus. why it's the book that that's good even though you don't know all the facts You've been staying close to me. Mm -hmm. I gave you enough common sense and wisdom to know to how know to handle that. this situation. To know yeah. it. You're going to handle it the best and you're going to get you, that. Jesus. You're going to get that from me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it'd be simple stuff like the story. Um, and again, don't read it for yourself. I'm telling just in lamest terms. He's but, like, open up you know your Bible. Saying? That's that's the whole <laughs> No, thing. for sure. That's, that's the, the point. Of no, convincing. for sure. You're going to find out for, find yourself. for yourself. You have to. You have There's nothing to. that, no matter what I said today, all the oohs and ahs and the people that like, mm, mm. it's not going to make it. None of that matters if you don't so you go see for up, yourself. Yep. It ain't going to matter. It doesn't matter. Ooh, we. It'll tell you, it'll tell you, it'll tell you stories that'll make you go, Lord, come on. That's crazy. Ooh, we. So like Solomon, one, one, of the, one of the ways that he didn't have all the facts, but he was wise. Um, two women, lame terms, they had uh, two, uh, two women, two, uh, they were pregnant. One laid on the side, I think. Mm -hmm. And basically one, one baby got killed. The, the woman, the other lady picked the baby that died, that mother got up, went to the other mother, stole the baby. And then when she stole the baby, boom, 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 all that happened, they wake up, they go to King Solomon. They're like, hey, that's my baby. No, that's my baby. No, one of, obviously one of them, they, mm. Solomon know one of them, um, he don't know all the facts. <clears throat> I wasn't there. I don't know who's lying. But mm -hmm. if y'all coming to me, I got to figure this out. Mm -hmm. So even though he didn't know all the facts, he was wise enough to, make, to find out who was lying by doing this. Hey, give me a sword. I'm going to split the baby in half. And both of y'all get one. And then the uh, and the mom the one, that, the, said, the mom no. that yeah. said no, you keep the baby. That's the he one said that's how is. I know because Ooh, you know that you the baby to know that's your baby. You would not let your baby. You die. would rather see this baby and hold to somebody yep, else than, than to, to be split, split in half. half. That's how I know it's yours. And yep. you, you, you punish. We're gonna we finna deal with you. Mm -hmm. You're the liar. And because he didn't Jesus. have all the facts, but he got Ooh, his wisdom wee. from the man on how to Thank think out problems. Yeah, it was like if I was a mother as a parent. What would I, if I say I'm going to split your baby in half, as a parent, take the baby. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you take my child than to kill my child. And in even if I, was, I, if I was that other girl, I'm like, don't do that. Right, but you didn't. <laughs> you, but you're not going to have the same response <laughs> yeah, as that, that's right, the right, one that's, right, right, that's right, the key right, thing he okay, looked okay, at. That's right, the key right, thing right. he looked at. He didn't wait for them to say, he didn't wait for her to she go. She said no. Yeah, it was like he, a he was like, oh, she reacted like this. Immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, hers. Yeah, that's it got to be hers. You, to. you was old lady. What are you doing? Thinking. Delayed. What are you? You was finna take half the baby. <laughs> you was okay with half. Baby tried walk, doing cartwheels the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you was okay with half a baby. <laughs> and then was going to expect the man to put it it's rare package. My half baby and my never mind, see. Jesus. Stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do like again, I do I do say this. <laughs> Stop. And for all that who is watching, listen, don't take my word for it. You can't. You can't. Because that's a lot of reason why it's billions of people out there 
that are going to miss out on paradise because they took somebody else's word for it. So many scriptures I know. Because so if many you want to, I've you, never even physically seen them. If you want to get need technical, to look at it and look it up for yourself. If you want to get technical, I do know for sure reading this, it said in coming times, even true believers mm-hmm. are going to fold. Oh, yep. Jesus. They're going to fold. So y'all can look. That's why I say you got to read for yourself because. It if you looking at me, oh, that man is saved. Da, 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 da. There's going to come a point, especially as, as we progress, like, in society, as we progress in society, we're, we're Lord have mercy. advancing in here. certain ways, but it also <laughs> conditions and numbs you to not needing God. Do you know what I mean? Like certain. Finding every other like, way remember, besides going to him. Right. Remember when I was telling you something about, like, practicing being inconvenient Mm -hmm. stop taking all the conveniences Mm -hmm. Mm. because it conditions you to be to go the easy route Mm -hmm. i want to be comfortable Mm -hmm. and i want it to be convenient Mm -hmm. but if you condition yourself to be uncomfortable and do what's not convenient it trains you to depend on god Mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like i would know how to get places better if I didn't have a GPS. 100%. I would know the city. I would know. I would know <laughs> names of street. I don't know a name of a street. I don't know. Nothing. I don't know. There's 17 Max. ways to get on the freeway from my house. There's I have 17 no- ways to get to my driveway. Yeah. So I, I know. I get lost all the time. It's like, but if we didn't have that convenience, we would, we know. would still be able to get around and know, and know where we are. But we take the convenient. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's the same yeah. thing. It's like at the end of the day, it's not faith if it's convenient and you can see it. That's like the if whole it's point. something that you can see, it's not faith. That's mm-hmm. the whole point. That's if why it's I- something that like like if it's something that like Pastor Darius said this at a church on Sunday and he was like, um, talking about strange faith. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. was like, I'm talking about the strange faith that impresses God. And that's something that only he knows. Mm-hmm. Because for example, my mom with chips, that right, might have right, right. seemed like a very easy thing but oh you're her, not eating chips yep, yep 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 but for her only her and god knew the extent of that's that. a big so you might be looking at people that look like oh you have great faith that might be easy for them mm-hmm. but it might be hard to bite your tongue to go to bed at nine yeah, o'clock yeah yeah, yeah. to, to drink water down. yeah 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 i'm yeah, talking yeah. about those, those you know, it could be little things like that but to us we think that's little. Or, wow, you believe for that. You have great faith. That's e- That might be easy for you to believe in. That don't impress God. Yeah. It's the thing that's hard for you is what impresses Man. him. Not wow, the thing wow. that's Ooh, easy that's for a, you. That's, the and, thing that is the hardest thing in the, the thing that makes you kill your flesh, that's the thing that God wants. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that he's after. Thank that's you, the Jesus. thing he's pushing it's funny, you to. It's funny you say that because my dad broke it down to me the other day. He was like, the reason why people need to read for themselves is because Certain things that y'all think are a sin, it's not even a sin. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, really, really quickly, creatives, podcasters, entrepreneurs, y'all listen up. If you're looking for an amazing location here in Atlanta to create content, check out Something Extraordinary Content House. That's where we are filming today. Located in the heart of Atlanta, only 15 minutes from the airport, this is a great one-stop shop location for creating. Y'all, it's like a mini mansion equipped with two kitchens, two living rooms. It has a Tulum-themed space. It has a wall-to-wall library coffee shop, moving ladder, photography studio, and much more. Yes, you guys, outside of recording, this location also is a great option for events of all different sizes. Venues are so expensive, but this house offers an alternative option for more intimate events, like a private live podcast recording, a panel discussion, book clubs, brand takeovers, even meet and greets for your followers. Y'all, the options are endless, but don't take our word for it. Check out their Instagram, you guys, at se Content House. And tell them KFS sent you. That's S E Content House. We film whenever we're in Atlanta. And then as a as 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 a Christian, when you go around, you gotta be careful what you say as a Christian because you may say something off of your own understanding and it may lead a non believer or someone that's to, interested yeah. to be like, uh, okay, well, yep. and now it, God is like, that ain't what I said. Nick. Nigga, that's your I that's your that struggle. You. I didn't say that. Yo. And even though it's your struggle, that's something you gotta deal with. Mm-hmm. So it, it ain't a sin. Yeah, it's just something 
is that, that for you that's gonna cause you, you to your sin. conviction you what did what god saying? tell you it's your conviction yes mm-hmm. so when you when you read for yourself and you like when you understand like i said my dad was telling me he was like look you may be weak in one area and the bible never said like that's a sin in the area that you that you weak in that's mm-hmm. why somebody else as a believer mm-hmm. can do the same thing that you doing because mm-hmm. that ain't they weakness. That's not their they, issue. They, they, they don't, they're not going to, it says, he, in layman's terms, he says, the Bible says, it's not what goes in you that makes you corrupt. It's what comes, comes out, out of you. Lord have mercy. So that's why when you think, you can think whatever you want. God is like, don't do it. Mm-hmm. I don't no care way. about you. Th- I understand why you thinking it. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Mm-hmm. Cause the minute mm-hmm. you do it, that's when you committed the sin, mm-hmm. not when you thought about doing it. Mm-hmm. So if a, if a person is struggling with fornication, obviously the Bible it it it, it, it talks about you got to dig. It talks about how masturbation is a sin. Mm-hmm. Jesus, you said it talks about it. It don't necessarily <laughs> now people be like, oh, it don't necessarily say God ain't the author of confusion. First of all, even if it even if ma- if it don't talk about masturbation being enough. Why would a person that is struggling with fornication and messing with women masturbate? Watch what? Why, why would you watch that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're a believer over here and you watching porn or you see porn, you may be like this. That don't bother me. Right. Mm. Right. So it's not gonna cause you to sin like that. Mm-hmm. Right. So in a sense, you have to get in it for yourself to find out what, what are your my struggles, what are my convictions, what is God because telling a, me to a do? A lot of people, Ooh-wee. a lot of people are, a lot of people read, and a lot of people don't read the Bible because they're looking for right and wrong. God already told you what was wrong. You're supposed to read the Bible for difficulty and easy. Because when you find out that certain things ain't a sin and certain things. It's about principle. Mm-hmm. You then understand God a little more, and you understand now. You realize, oh, you understand me. Mm-hmm. I never knew it was like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I used to think. For example, I used to think somewhat being with a non-believer is a sin. I used to think that, like in a sense of ain't no point of you're me saying marrying. as far as dating. As as far as dating, yeah, okay. yeah. As far as dating, like marrying, being with a non-believer. Ooh, I used wee. to think. I used I to think like, yeah, da 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 da. Nah. A lot of people think that's a sin. A lot of Christians will go, that's wrong. You did it up. No, that's not what the Bible said. The Bible, in fact, Paul said, I wish everybody was as single as I am. I don't know Mm -hmm. if it's a sin, but I don't know if I could do it. Nah, it's you can. You know why? Because the Bible is advice for difficulty and easy. So that's why being with a non-believer, it ain't wrong. It's just difficult. Mm. But you know what God says? If you choose difficult, I am here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got advice for you to deal because you he he it, lit, it, it, it literally says if you choose to be with a non-believer, you have to stick with that. I'm not getting you out of no situation. If you marry Lord, a non-believer, Lord. whether however you found out or not, I'm gonna keep you in that position because guess what? You made the decision knowing this, that, and the third. Here's mm-hmm. advice on how to deal. That's why my advice. Is to don't even deal, deal with, with it, it in the first place. That's what, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because choose, in the case you do, because in case just in case you do, because honestly, I'm glad you with the non-believer. Them the ones that need me the most. Ooh-wee. But guess guess what? Guess what's gonna be tough for you to do out, throughout that marriage? You gonna have to be more patient than you would yep. with somebody that understands. That's following that understands. me. Yep. yep. So I never said it was wrong. Yep. I, said I it's just hard. said it's difficult. And easy, but I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here with you every step of the way. Yeah. Just understand, you gotta do it for me. Mm-hmm. So when you and realize that, you are gonna stay away from people that don't that ain't on the same page mm-hmm. as you. Not because it's oh you this it's yeah. hey man, I ain't in the business. I'm not in the business of convincing. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's your heart posture too. Like I think like in the Old Testament there was very clear testament. Like there were very clear do not. Thou shalt not, thou shalt not, thou shalt not. Like it was clear black and white. And then when Jesus came, it became more about your heart posture in it. It was, I think it was always, I'm, and I don't, I don't mean to. Yeah, but I'm know. saying the way it was, the way it was presented. I feel like in the Old Testament, it was very much a black and white, like it's still black and white in the new, but it was very, it, Jesus came so that we could have a relationship do you know what I mean? Um, uh, where it's more of a personal relationship and not just rules, rules and regulations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it became like this heart posture thing where it's like, yeah, if you 
if you kill, that's wrong. But then also life and death is in the power of the tongue. So not physically killing somebody, but your words mm -hmm. have power to kill. Yeah. Do you I, see what I'm saying? So it's taking this idea of right and wrong, but not just doing the works of it, but like your heart posture in it and your relationship in it. And I think that's what guides you through hard and difficult. Yeah. It's integrity. And you know what I'm saying? That's where you see your character. the sin is not just this, 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 and this. It's anything that removes you from him is a sin. Anything that calls you to withdraw from him, mm -hmm. anything that causes you to not be with God mm -hmm. is a sin. Mm -hmm. Anything that distracts you from him is a sin. So it could be don't have sex, but it also could be don't text after 10 o'clock. Nah, right. nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying if, if that is going to distract for you, you, for you from what you're supposed to do, then yes, that is that, that is what is That sin. is what lusting is. See, a lot of people, they think lusting is sexual. It's anything it has to do with sexual. Lusting is anything that distracts you long, like long enough, anything that you allow to distract you long enough where, like you said, mm -hmm. it, it starts changing your perspective on God's mm -hmm. purpose. Mm -hmm. That's when it is a sin. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessarily like, yeah, you could spend like that, spending too much time on the game. Yep. It, right. It, it could. It, it's not a sin. I'm saying Until, that's not in the Bible. It doesn't say thou shalt not right. gain. No, but right. no, no. But if it is causing you to not. That's what that's that's what I'm saying. That's the definition. That's, this, that's yeah. how the Bible talks about lust. Mm -hmm. It says, listen, the reason why it it's what you it's what you do and not what you think. That's it's a difference. But I thought thinking something but, bad was a sin. But I no, mean, the not, Bible no, says no. so a man if thinketh, you, so is he. So you have to be in control over the things that but, you think. But but what but what I'm but what I'm saying what I'm what I'm trying to get across is, I can think all day about killing somebody that made me mad. Right, mm -hmm. Philly. So this person did something close to your your family member, mm -hmm. your children, this, that, and that. Third. I can think. I can stay up all year thinking about killing you and not do it. That's the. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of his mercy, his love. He stopped me from doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can't, until I do it, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. But God tells you from the very beginning, train your mind mm -hmm. already yeah. to the point where when you get, when you already face a situation, you already know what you own. You Two have the every time. Mm -hmm. You ain't even got to go to the steps to even think, Ugh, like mm -hmm. you already, you already know life happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and a lot of people don't understand Christ was sent as an example. So we won't have no excuse. Mm -hmm. That's it. He was tempted with every single thing you can think of just mm -hmm. like us. The only thing he did was say, nah, mm -hmm. can't, Ooh, we, no matter how much I want I'm to, good. can't. The enemy brought him up on the top of the mountain and said, I'll give you Now Nah, no enemy. That was the prince the, of enemies. The, the, that was they, Satan. They, Satan himself. Satan said, himself. I'll give you everything. I'll and guess I'm I'm gonna leave it at this when I say this. But when he couldn't get Christ, the second he realized Christ said no, Satan figured it out. He said, "Okay, cool. If I can't get you, I'm gonna attack the church. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start in the church. Jesus, Lord, because I know get everybody you, around you. I Lord, I, have mercy. I know I can't get the person that's ahead of the church." But I can get them humans with excuses. I'm mm -hmm. gonna start in the church, and and once I start in the church, guess what? Think it's about do? what happened as soon as Jesus died. I'm like, you. I don't know none of these stories. As soon as Jesus died, I'm what happened? Here in Bible everybody city. I don't know none of this. started. The twelve. What happened? They all freaked the hell out. Even Peter, who was like Jesus's home, but like that was his buddy. Like he was like, I'll never deny you ever, 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 ever. The second and he, he had a chance, he ended up doing it three times. And Jesus told him, he was like, bro, you're going to deny me three times before the, before Cal. they, before they, they, yeah, he was like, <laughs> yes, Jesus, Cal. Lord, my Lord, Cal. But Cal. why did he, why did he Stop deny him? Cal. Because he was afraid. I mean, that's how the end, they were afraid. They were, this is the man that they've been following for three years and even though he's predicted this death, he's told us this was going to happen. It happened. And now we have like, 
we're all attached. Like they're trying to I, kill everybody attached to this man. I try and to I avoid be, this man. I can't be the person that's like, yeah, I know him. Because if I say, yeah, I know him, they're going to kill me. But wouldn't and, you rather die? But than, if you're in that, that situation, that. hindsight, you can look at it objectively and be like, but that's Jesus. Like, these are the people that walked, walked with him. With him. Like, you about saw it. what he did. I, I, I tried to you say You didn't even have to have faith. You saw it. You were there. Hold on, hold on. You were really good. Y'all really You were there. You were there when he healed. You didn't have to have faith. You saw it. You saw him bring Lazarus out the tomb. You saw him heal somebody just by them touching the garden. You were there and you still denied him Listen. and you still ran. You were still full of fear. How the hell do you think you are going to get through this life? They walked with the man. They seen him, touched him. Listen. He came back. They, they were all hiding. Do you realize in, the, in, in Acts, they were hiding. They were all in a room hiding, scared because people were trying to kill them for knowing Jesus, for being a Christ follower. You think that ain't going to happen? Put, I put it to today. You, I put it to you like this, because like I said, this is one of mm. the this is what one of the conversations or topic I tried to stay away from because, like I said earlier, I said I understand the Bible for what it is, black and white. The thing that you are saying is correct, but you have to be careful on how you explain that to people because it's so simple to get in. That get in where? What you heaven. About? It is so simple so to get simple, into heaven. Yeah. Oh, that's what we, what we are. Listen um, to what I'm discussing. saying. It is so simple to get into heaven that hell is the perfect punishment. Ooh, we. And what she's talking about is that's why I told y'all, you can look at me all day and say, oh, he's speaking this, hell to right, even believers. Even the Bible say it's going to be people like E-Man mm -hmm. that's, that's going to fold. Yep. They going to fold. Yep. And it's going to be due to not being on your word. Somewhere you got lost, mm -hmm. somewhere you got tracked, you were supposed to focus on this. Let me... All Lord. I ask you to do, all I've ever asked y'all to do since I, since I became, since I thought to create light, mm -hmm. I want you guys to understand I'm all about peace, love, and that's it. That's it. You people don't understand that what I'm asking you to do, what I'm asking you to believe in and who to believe in, it is so simple that here, if you if you by choice mm -hmm. choose not to, where else you gonna go? Where else are you? Where else? Are you, and and you have and the, the thing about the thing about when people preach hell, I don't have to say hell to scare you or anything. Just think about this kind of torture. You being somewhere in eternity, that's the total opposite of, of paradise. paradise. And you have to listen, listen, Lord. you have to know. listen, Lord. You have to oh think. Oh my God, mm -hmm. this Rebuke. is the real. Listen. Okay, but let me say that. Yeah, I, I need to vocalize I it. I know, but I'm saying it's not. <laughs> I rebuke don't, that. If you even take the fire and burning out. I'm not say, even. Yeah. Just, you, let's say you take that out. On your worst day, having that for eternity. This torture, this is enough torture without the fire. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Ah, right there I had the chance. Mm -hmm. Ah, right there I had the chance. I asked my brother, I said, well, how can you burn and still be thinking about this? Mm -hmm. I said, have you ever on earth, have you ever... Hit your toe on someone you was in the middle of pain and you still found time to go, ah, I should have done that. Mm. That's exactly what hell is. Mm. That's exactly what it's going to be mm. like. You're going to feel everything Lord. all while thinking, I had it. It was right there. I was this going. He mm. tried to tell me. Torture. Ooh, Jesus. Because I read somewhere in the book, it said there are no atheists in hell. Yep. Ain't no atheists in hell. Yep. Everybody That's believes. why I say if you don't know before you go, no, I mean you're gonna. No, you're. Everyone's gonna because everyone's going to come facing him, and Where he's the gonna say. At? What? No, no at, what, he, what he's saying is, is that because when you I'm die, like, do I need to when you die, no. everybody <laughs> has to come to. See, God. that's why you gotta know for yourself. I'm everybody has yeah. to come to God, and he is going to go down a book. He's gonna read this your book of life. He's gonna go down, and he's gonna either say. Good job, or he's gonna say, "I don't know you." I can't. But everyone is going to encounter him, regardless. So when he says that there is no atheist in hell, because they all know God is real, they know for sure. They know God. If is you, if you, you are going to stand before him, regardless whether you choose to believe or choose not to believe, whether you did it right, whether you did it wrong, whether you were perfect, whether you're not perfect, you are going to stand before him. Everyone 
alone at the same and you time you're going to be dealt with and you're going to be asked about you you're not gonna and they're not gonna and god's not gonna say oh well i know this happened and i know they did this and i know they did what did i tell you to do and it's either good job or it's i don't it's know like, you. in lame turn it's like this when you get up there talking to god god but i ain't know hey hold on y'all love when you say you ain't know turn to the camera yeah <laughs> De look at you, look at knowing. You. Knowing. Look at you, knowing, having the chance yep. to know. You funny. Don't worry about it. Take some water on your way out. <laughs> See, I look. My personal relationship with God. You are sick. Oh, my personal, my personal relationship with God <laughs> is Take so water bro, on your it's way so, out. It's so sick. black that's and white to me. That that's rude. how he. That's how he taught when it comes. Yeah, to me. for sure. Because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, you, you have yeah. to understand, like, to piggyback on what she was saying, like everybody's going to know. Now, again, because I, even though I trust this person and they told me that the Bible says this, I'm not going to say the Bible said it until I read it myself, but yeah. it makes sense. He said there was a, uh, I think there was a story in the Bible where when, when Christ went to hell to, uh, for all of our sins to get the, you know, when he basically, he, he had to go through everything for us. Mm -hmm. There was a man down there that told, asked Christ, can I please come back alive just to tell people it's real? Mm. Please let me tell my family this is real. I, 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 I come, let me out. Jesus, Pe but let please. me just tell them. Let me just tell. I don't and gotta go tell back. everybody. I, the I, ones I care that I know. Please let me tell them this is real. Can I go back on earth just to tell them it's real? Cap, <laughs> can't let you do it. Can't go back on God. Big word. Can't got. Can't go back on pops. Word. Can't do it. Mm. But we say honestly, we saying all this. But here's the thing. When you are a true believer, mm -hmm. none of this phases you. Yep. None of it. That is the whole purpose of mm. that. That is whole. That is the whole God's it don't purpose phase for me your until life. We start getting into the. Ooh, you can, I don't want to think about that. You ain't got to be scared. You can only have sorrow. Yeah. For the people that don't know, but here's the reason why you can't judge and look at these kind of people because even as true believers, the Bible talks about how the Bible is open for everybody, but it's especially for Christians. Because we're the ones that got the most to lose. So guess what? We need to be the ones that's reading it for real. Mm -hmm. Because even though you're just like everybody else, you know what's at stake. Lord have mercy. So yes, you can sin like them. You can you can understand that pain, but you know it's all worth it if you just hold on. Mm. They don't. And here's the re here's the main reason why you shouldn't judge. Because even as a true believer, if it's hard for a true believer, how do, how do you think? How, oh my you God! Think a non-believer, you, you can't judge oh, him sure. and go off on them. Oh, do you know sure. how hard it is for you to stay on the 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 the? the uh, I, I can't remember the name, but the the the, uh, the man that wrote Revelation, God showed him a glimpse of heaven. Wasn't it John? Um, I think it was. John. John. I, I ain't gonna say nothing. Did he show him hell? Yes, <laughs> and it he was showed, scary. Listen. He shows. This is like story he time. He shows this. This man. is a spooky story by the fire. <laughs> <laughs> he shows. Like, he shows. The I'm man waiting on glimpse. somebody to say boo. The fuck. <laughs> this showed, is too much. He shows the man a glimpse of heaven. He shows him just a glimpse. The man, what he saw, it says he yeah, fell John. down. It was John. Mm -hmm. He said. He said. It said it, he fell down to the angel that showed him heaven. He, the man fell down to the angel star. Worship. The angel said, "Not me." He said, worship only God, no, not right. me. Yeah. He said, now it's your job to like write and say, you know, whatever, this is going to happen. But my mom broke it down to she, she the one that taught me that. She said, look at it like this. God showed a man a glimpse of heaven. He still looked at the earth and was like, but the holes, but the cars, mm. but the, Lord. you just got done praying. You, you, it's something you ain't never seen before. And you still look and go, but, but what? Same thing with Are you Peter me? or Paul? Who's the guy that said I don't believe? Peter. Oh, yeah. Or he denied him. Before I forget, him. before I forget, you remember how you was talking how people will um you uh you were saying these disciples walk with this man and did this and did this. In lamest terms, this is the reason when you read, you understand why I say I'm not in the business of convincing. If you don't believe me, find out for yourself. If you do believe me, find out for yourself. When you think about it. Uh, one of my favorite um, moments in the um, Bible is when, when Christ, right before he died, it was two thieves or mm -hmm. two people right there. Neither one of them knew who he was mm -hmm. at the moment. Only one of them was like, hey, man, I don't know what I, I this is what I heard. This is what I heard. This is what I believe. And that and to be honest with you, 
I'm about to die in about 30 seconds. Anyway. What do I got? <laughs> what, what do I, I got to lose? Ooh, so he says, you know what? If, he said, man, if you telling the truth, I believe. Remember me. Right. You ain't doing nothing wrong yet. Ooh, we. Mm -hmm. You got good intentions, but good. guess what? The road to hell is filled okay, with good stop. intentions. <laughs> you, you know I'm what? Believer, you I'm fine. You ain't, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I, that's right. I'm a believer. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be on judgment day shaking in your boots? No, ooh, no, I'm not. I'm a crip walker. I'm like, yeah, I know we good. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, my child. For sure. Rebuke. Once Stop manifesting that. That that Samson and Solomon. <laughs> We're still stuck on that. You missed. By one no, question. I rebuke. No, you joking. got me messed up. Yeah, I know yeah. you are. Stop saying that. Oh, um, okay. Um, <laughs> so what's going to happen? So like, oh, like, I, like I was saying, a lot of people will look at that. They'll look at that story of Christ letting this person in and be like, uh, you don't get it because you don't read. Think about this. Like you said, his disciples, Judas, went to hell. Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is a disciple who was with this man who saw all of this stuff. How you see, how you with this man? And you still go to hell. So right, yes, that stuff like that makes me nervous. Yeah. No, you do, but it, it, the reason why, why did Judas he, the go reason, to hell? The reason why he went to hell is because he just didn't want to believe. But there are there are theological theories. Don't care about that. Oh no, I'm just saying. I'm just. I know that. I'm just saying. That say what though? When people when 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 people have studied the Bible, there are theories. There's simple. You know how there's pre rapture, post rap. There's all these things that people decide to believe in with the Bible, whether they believe, you know, Jesus is coming back after the rapture, before the right. rapture. There's just certain things like that. I do remember hearing and learning about a theory of Judas and everyone that died previous to Christ dying on this cross. There was no hell or not. There wasn't a hell, but they didn't go yet to hell yet they were like in the middle because so. he didn't die for their sins yet so there was a, a well, not a holding place but like it was something called paradise that wasn't hell no, or I, get, I, I get you but i'm not going i'm not going to speak on that because i don't know the particular like, parts yeah. of that yeah. the message, i'm just saying that people do say that like oh judas went to hell due to this person that, went that, to hell. This person went to hell. This and I'm like, I don't. The message. The, hell is real, but I don't know who's there. The point. The point I'm Ooh, trying. To, the, point, the point I'm trying to make, and we'll. The point I'm trying to make is, if Judas, the who has been a follower of Christ, who's seen this stuff, witnessed everything. If he went to hell, if he went to hell, and this person who ain't known Jesus for two seconds got into heaven, what you think the answer is to get into heaven? What do you think it is? Believe, believe in. That's it. Cause think about it. A man that saw all that 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 saw everything that Christ did. I've known you for years and still went to hell. This nigga ain't known me for one minute and got into heaven. Lord. And he's been sinning his whole life. Mm -hmm. Lord. And he still got in. It that makes you think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's all people make excuses. I tell people all the time, if you ever want to know what the Bible is all about, study free will. Study free will. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, in black and white, Bible shouldn't have made it past Genesis. Mm -hmm. It never should have made it. It never should even. The book. Yep. The book people don't understand. Jesus, that was plan Why? We weren't even supposed to make it to plan Why? Seriously? But Jesus was plan Why? And why? guess what? Since we as humans are so stupid. <laughs> plan Z, this is gonna be my last plan. Ooh, we. The Bible. That's plan Z. That's it. All y'all think all I got. Jesus, come on down here and help. No, I'm right here at the it. right hand of my father. I yep. ain't coming back until it's time for me to come back and get everything to a T. Yep. So until then, take that advice. He just sitting there interceding. That's it. He like he Christ actually up there like this. Man, now can I go? Come on, Pops. <laughs> now, not yet. Nigga, chill. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, not yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he left us, he literally left us mm -hmm. the Bible. That's it. Mm -hmm. And even that, that's why I'm not afraid to say this stuff because I don't care. <laughs> if you leave in the comment, well, that's not true because in 198, 
don't care. <laughs> you might, guess what? You might be right. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> you know why? Because what I believe in and his purpose is so simple that all it all it's missing books of the Bible's don't care. <laughs> Cause a lot of people don't a lot of people don't know. I kid you not. And I and I'm still careful with how I'm delivering this stuff because I can only tell you what it means to me and what it, what happened in my experience. From your journey, yeah. When people say, What about the books of the Bible that is missing? I'm not gonna lie to you. Before I really started reading for myself. It was like, that is true. That is true. Maybe I, I don't know. Da, da, da. But I've always been a person that goes out of my control. Right. I've done that my whole right. life, right? But when I started reading, I'm not even at Revelations yet. One day, one morning, just recently, probably last week, I happened to get up, I go sit down, and the Bible was on Revelations. How it got there, I'm pretty sure I probably will. I don't know how it got there. I can't remember how it got there. And I was sitting down, I was doing something, and I looked, and I just happened, I was like, okay, Revelations, let me just, I read the first thing I said, the first thing I could see. It just, it just so happened to be on the last page of the Bible, the last, the last page of Revelations. Mm -hmm. And it said, in, in layman's terms, it said, don't basically, if anybody has tampered with this book, if anybody has took, if there's, if anybody has mm -hmm. took um, books from this Bible or have tampered with it, I got them. Don't worry about it. Literally, it literally says that. Mm -hmm. Even though all these years, I always knew, like, that's out of my control. Mm -hmm. But I started to notice, now that I'm reading, when people say, when they say stuff like to me that I don't know, even I'll hold my tongue and be like, well, I ain't going to go against you on that because let me find out for myself. Mm -hmm. And if you're right, we can have a discussion. But for me to just happen to look at the very last page and it says, don't worry about it. If there are books missing, if there any, if this book has been tampered yeah, with, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Oh, I got man, that. that so when people come to me been. and say, "What about but the books?" What, of is, the what are they? Don't. What did yeah. they say? I mean, there are tons of books. Like the Book of Enoch is taken out of the Bible. Don't There's care. stories of Mary and who she really was to Jesus Ooh, taken out care. of the Bible. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much that's taken out. Don't care. But there, but and because the the Sorry, translations, oh, okay, the oh, translations are written. It's been trans yeah. Don't care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know why I don't care about the translation? Matthew Hudson, my brother, did a production. God is funny. He does Christian comedy. Um, he does comedy for the uh, the kingdom. I kid you not. The reason why translation don't matter. My mom, she's older, like she's getting there, and she was at his show. And one of his skits was bringing out, um, I apologize, because uh, he's a real good dude. I forgot, I, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. But uh, he's a, uh, a gospel rapper. Mm -hmm. And he comes out there and he does a translation. He does Atlanta slang, scripture version. And I'm sitting there, because I be on production and said, now my mindset is business-wise, stuff like this. I'm, I'm listening to him talk slang. I'm young enough to understand it. And I'm looking around, and I'm looking at my mom, I'm like, my mom don't know it because he using slang. I kid you not. Everything he 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 came throughout the whole show. The intermission is his part. Beginning his part. Beginning and he probably came out like four times. And my mom was like this. Look, he finna say this part. This he he finna talk about this part right here. I looked at him like, hold on, mom. I'm like, you understand what he's saying? He's just that I don't know the language, but the message still the same. And, and he, because he was, he was saying stuff like, so yeah, my partner on God until I, uh, uh, Abraham up today, he finna, you know, knock out it. He finna pack his son out real quick. And I'm, I'm laughing because I know, but I'm like, these older folks ain't gonna know. And my mom was just, and then watch what he talked about the part where God say this, and he said, then next God did this. I said, Mom, <laughs> she's like, that's my favorite part of the show. That he was my favorite part. Yeah. And I'm like, just as simple as that. People talking about, yeah, it's been translated. If God's purpose has been the same before he created light, what is there? Mm -hmm. That ain't too the much to break down. The, same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the only thing you making excuses for, because I've made excuses for it, is yeah. then thou has to do it. I don't know what this do with thou has to, none of this. Yeah. It's taken, it's actually distracting me from the message. It really is. <laughs> I'm not, no, it I don't, really I don't is. Speak it thou really made, is. That's why you got to read that. a different All translation. This, so is. when you got somebody, when you understand the Bible black and white, you can talk to believers or people that are prepared to listen. You can mm -hmm. talk to them like this. Man, God said don't do that. 
Hell is you talking about? Not probably the hell is you talking about, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you could hell is you talking about? Hell is you talking hell about? Hell is you talking about? Okay. We got to wrap it up. Yeah, we got oh, it. We got to wrap it up. See, when you talking about that, I know. Like, man. <laughs> I know. When you talking about the man upstairs, bro, <laughs> it get, get real bad. Okay. We asked two questions at the end. What do you know for sure? K N O W. What are you saying no to for sure? Non negotiable. N O. Oh, I know for sure that um, Christ is real. Amen. You said specifically, and it's a no for Christ. sure. Specifically, yeah, because people be doing the whole God guys. Like, I know. Say his name. I ain't telling you to believe it. I just say I know for sure <laughs> that Christ is real, <laughs> and it's a no for sure. If you try to convince me otherwise, no, for sure. Ooh, it's it, a it, no it, for it, sure. It, 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 especially when I know what happens to the people that's like me and they still fold. It's a no for sure. <laughs> it's a no for sure. <laughs> On my end. And if you, if, if Ooh, you, wee. will you Ooh, read? Will you read for yourself? Ooh, I don't everything that I'm saying. I do not want everything to that I'm saying. It can back up. <laughs> you won't everything. Let me fold. <laughs> you vote. No I for know sure. for sure. I know for sure. I know for sure. It's a no for sure. Yeah. I know for sure. It's, it's a, a no, no for, for sure. sure. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I know. Can can I can write that down for the next merch line? I know, I know for sure. For sure it's Can I have your number? I know for sure it's a no. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. Put a little e man on there. We, yeah, we'll quote you. Oh my God. You know, but you know, it's, yeah. What about you? <laughs> what do you know for sure? I'm going to heaven. I, it's oh. non negotiable. Stop, E man. That's not funny to no, me. No, it's, 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 it's pretty funny. <laughs> It's just a little bit. Ooh, that makes my stomach hurt. And that's why you. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Don't worry. You he's like. Kill, he's like. You, you know what kill to... viruses and stomach viruses? Heat. Stop, Stop it. So Ooh, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Heat, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. No, no. Yeah, I know for sure. I'm going to heaven for sure. And it's a no to what? To hell. A no to hell. Oh, okay. <laughs> for sure. We'll we'll see. For me. We'll see. Um, <laughs> what about <you>? Um. <laughs> so that's mean. not funny to me. Yes, it's a little funny. God I know for sure that uh, you have, I know for sure that as an individual, you have to know for sure. Mm. Like mm -hmm. me knowing for sure not ain't going to do you. nothing for you. You got to know for sure, for sure on your own. And no, what am I saying no to? I'm saying no to folding. Like, I know no, that's right. whatever that is. No, no. Like, no. This part I'm probably going to get, cause this is a huge platform. It's probably be finna, it's gonna be so many people. I I think that oh he's this didn't he don't care <laughs> don't, don't, you, don't even bother coming to my page because I I don't care even if I respond genuinely don't care I don't care if I respond hopefully because I've been working I love on when you that, respond because it's so funny it's not funny anymore <laughs> you're like I'm sick of it because no, no oh now you're no, just being mean now now yeah. and all joke aside I'm not gonna respond. The way I used to, cause yeah. God wouldn't want that. You're right. You know what I'm You're saying? Right. Like you can respond. I can with still, dry humor. Yeah, no, no, for sure. He made me humans for a reason. He actually told me to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna do it how I do, but it, it will be no convincing. Yeah, for sure. Is what I'm saying. For sure. No, cause you gotta go. All right. Good Here. luck. Good luck, Chuck. On your journey. All right, y'all. <laughs> We love you guys. No for sure podcast. The bringing men back. Bringing them back. Bringing them back. I Head on over to that. Patreon for extra content with E Man. We got a little bit more. Y'all dropped questions for him. We're going to answer a few questions over on Patreon. Have fun. Oh, nice. And yeah. Oh, nice. Put yeah. me on. You're not going to work. I know y'all did that. Are we really going to do that? Yeah. Bet. Better not say that. Yeah. Do Better not say, Lord, let's do it. Yeah. We love you guys. Up. See y'all next week. Bye. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. And follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod.